I realize most of you probably will never have heard of an outport before. It's something peculiar to Newfoundland. Uh, no one knows where the term originated exactly, but it refers to any fishing community, any fishing village outside of the capital city of St. John's. Every community outside the capital city of St. John's uh, for most of Newfoundland's history was a fishing community. Um, the only reason Newfoundland was settled by Europeans to begin with was because of the cod fishery. And uh, each of these communities, which ranged in size from several hundred people to sometimes something as small as five or ten, sometimes just a single family, um, they existed to what they called to prosecute the cod fishery. Accessible some of them well into the 20th century, and there are, there are some that this is still true for, um, are, would have only been accessible by sea, by boat or by ship. And then depending on the size of those communities, um, m many of them did not have access to education or to medicine of any sort. Um, and people operated on what was called the truck system, which was basically a, a credit and debit system. So uh, a local merchant would provide a fisherman with the gear and supplies they, he needed to get through the season with the condition that that fisherman would then sell all the fish he caught during the season back to the merchant. And the trick with this system was that the merchant set the price for the goods and supplies given out in the spring of the year and also set the price for the fish that was taken in in the fall. So it was basically a cashless society and m many Newfoundlanders spent their entire lives in debt to the merchant they, they more or less worked for. And this was true uh, well into the 20th century um, and uh, it was for most people, something close to a subsistence uh, economy. 